tell me something about your creative process or tell me how you arrived at Live Your Masterpiece. What was the inspirational moment that you said, I want to share this with the world. I, I want to create this community. Well, when I came to that place, I was in New York studying with Alex Gray and was sitting in a group full of people talking about our um, messages we had received after walking through the Metropolitan Museum of Art and them all sharing their stories and feeling that movement in the room of inspiration based on hearing their stories and me feeling so moved from my own experiences to live my masterpiece. And the, the course of study we were taking there was the mission of art. And it was taking your artistic endeavor and finding your mission within that. And so after leaving, that's what I felt moved to do, was to live my masterpiece and have my mission of art to be inspiring others and to have people feeling moved to do their best and to feel their um, their purpose being aligned with what they were doing and, and having it all match up in a beautiful way. And, and so when I came back from studying there, I kind of hit the wall and got sick with pneumonia and was in bed a lot and I had a dream one night that I should share this in a book and put together a book of stories and share it in a publication form. So I came to the point where I thought, okay, well, once I feel better, I'm going to get out and put open files on the internet and find out what it is that people really are having inspired them, what it is that, that drives them. And that didn't necessarily limit me to artists. It incorporated all people who are living their creation in a beautiful way and creating their lives to be their masterpiece. And so I put open calls on the internet, mostly geared towards artists and musicians and creative people, but then I was getting responses from people, everyday people, who were saying, wow, this is really inspiring, and gee, I'd really like to share my story with you, but it, that doesn't have anything to do with art or music or dance or any of these other mediums. Um, so I decided to really encourage that as well, to not only gear it toward you know, artistic communities, but just to have you know anyone out there who really wanted to speak their mind and have their their profound shift in awareness through creativity be heard and felt and experienced by others and that that's really where I was born was being in New York and being around magnificent people who were willing to speak their truth so eloquently and have it inspire us as a group all around us. And, and reading Alex Gray's work and hearing his inspirational stories and reading The Courage to Create by Robin May, which is a great piece of literature that kind of goes into the dance of creation and how it's the, the art of um, you know, intimacy, conception, and delivery all in the same moment of having creation be that the culmination of things all together in one moment. That's just such an inspiring movement to feel and I wanted to come together and have a place where that was felt on a grander scale and have it be continuing to build momentum. So that's mostly where it came from. Um, magic. <laughs> and it felt like magic. And then all of these people were writing to me with their beautiful stories and it was just bringing tears to my eyes when I would open these emails on my inbox that were their stories of triumph and their stories of sorrow and their um, interactions with their children or their trips to the Middle East or whatever it is that they had gone through that brought them to the place where they started to create from it. It was just profoundly beautiful in that and amazing and I felt so honored to receive that and I thought, wow, if I feel this honored to receive this blessing in my inbox, how beautiful it would be put it into a publication or do an entire movement based on it and have it go from there and then eventually include installations of artwork that would travel around the country or around the world and have um, music and dance and color therapy and food and, and just all sorts of entertainment that were creatively inspired that were geared toward feeding hungry souls. Mm -hmm. Anything that would care towards feeding hungry souls.
Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like you're the mission of live your masterpiece, correct me if I'm wrong, is to share inspiring stories about the transformational power of art. Pretty close. To Why share. don't you restate? The mission for Live Your Masterpiece would be for people to share their profound shifts and awareness through creative action. Hmm. Okay, beautiful. Could, could be art, could be music, could be dance, could be motherhood, could be teaching or mentoring or living out in the woods. You know, I've gotten profound information through nature, just mm -hmm. taking walks and um, or through animals. Animals that relay messages to us when we have a question on our minds or things of that nature, um, but not limited to art. Okay, so if people want to read the stories that you're collecting or if they want to share their stories, how do they get involved? The easiest way to get involved is to go to liveyourmasterpiece.com and mm -hmm. submit stories there or read stories that others have submitted or <clears throat> find out who it is that's putting stories on there and go to their sites and read more about them to gain inspiration through them or um, contact me directly and get information that way about who we're considering publishing through and what stages we're in and, and uh, as far as the project. We'd like to have scholarships, apply for nonprofit status, um, raise funds so that we can pay forward to some people who would like to be involved with creative endeavor but aren't able to because of lack of finances. Um, I was raised in an inner city school and was the minority in my class, so it would be really nice to be able to give back to that type of dynamic also and, and really see that kind of pay, pay forward because I feel so grateful to have come from where I came from and to have come this far in my life and have a clear vision of what it is that I'm doing. I've got journals filled with years worth of what am I doing here? <laughs> What's my purpose? What's my mission? And I have to give thanks to Alex Gray for his, his past in bringing that together and showing that modern day artists and creative people have mission and have purpose behind what they're doing and how to share that. And, and, and getting a venue to do that, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to look for the beauty all around you to become inspired. That would be the best way to get involved. Be able to share your story, you have to have a clear idea of what it is you're sharing. So that's what I'm finding. A lot of people are writing and saying, I don't really know how to write, or I don't know what to say, or how to share. But then when they get really into it, they find that they're far more equipped than they thought they were. And that they have these beautiful inspirational stories that never would have come to words had they not actually been prompted to from a project like this. And then they scan through their, their journals or their recesses of their mind to, to find that beautiful moment in which they became inspired or that shift that occurred in a split second over something that was really mundane at that moment, but just changed them forever. This woman was driving through Nova Scotia and she saw a rock that said all good on the side of it. And she said, from that moment forward, my, my life has been all good. And I live each moment from that place. And it doesn't matter what happens to me, it's all good. And it was in that split second, and driving down the road of some graffiti, you know, on the side of a rock. and. It's one of the best stories I've gotten in my inbox is this, you know, mundane moment that she and her husband shared together and, and it was beautiful, absolutely amazing. It's moments like those that we really want to bring to light.